Turn in the Road, a story about pure false pop-out, false heterogeneity, and hidden singletons. All right, let's start with something simple. I want you to keep fixated on or point at the object that looks different from the other two on the screen. Just really simple, okay? Now things are going to move, and I want you to keep up with the one that looks different. Still pointing at the one that looks different? Okay. Still pointing at the one that looks different? Good. Now, let's move on to a different picture. You're going to try it again, same thing. You're going to point at the object that looks different from the other two. Ready? All right, pointing at the one that looks different from the other two. Now things are going to move again. Are you still pointing at the one that looks different? If not, move your finger. Okay, moving. All right, are you still pointing at the one that looks different? If not, move your finger. Now, if you have to move your finger to keep up with the road that looks different every time this picture changes, you're experiencing our illusion. So what's the deal? What's really going on here? Okay, one more time, point at the one that looks different to you. Okay, now if the thing that you're pointing at moves, I want you to move with it. Ready? That's what's going on. In fact, the road that most people perceive to be different in this picture is actually identical to the road on the left. And even though these two pictures on the screen look very much identical to one another, um, they're actually very different from one another. Yes, mind blown. Okay, so obviously we've got some splaining to do. All right, so usually when two things are the same, they look the same. And when two things are different, they look different. No explanation necessary, right? Well, sometimes when two things are different, they actually look the same. In perception, we call this metamers, and that's things like wavelength or color mixtures. So you can mix two colors to look like another color. And sometimes when two things are the same, they actually look different. Now, we've started calling these things anti-metamers, but they've actually been around for a long time. So this is one of the first, the Jaster illusion, which is a came about in about the 1800s. So these two shapes are actually identical to one another, um, but they look very different. And actually, um, an anti-metamer, even though it wasn't called one at the time, won the Best Illusion of the Year contest in 2007. This is the Leaning Tower illusion, um, and these two pictures of the Leaning Tower are in fact identical, even though it looks like the one on the right is leaning over more. <clears throat> So what you were seeing with the roads were examples of metamers and anti-metamers. Two of the roads were metamers. They looked the same, but they were very different from one another. And two of the roads were anti-metamers. They looked different, but they were very much the same. Okay, so why do we think this happens? Well, the middle road appears to share what we call a common vanishing point with the leftmost road. That is, if you were to see these two roads in real life, they would appear to be receding into the same point in the distance, and therefore you would assume them to be parallel um, and symmetrical and identical, much like in this picture, okay? The two lanes of this road um, are receding into the same point in the distance, and you, you know, therefore, you can assume that they are parallel, they're identical, they're symmetrical. Uh, but in fact, what we fail to realize is that the two-dimensional projections of these two lanes onto our retinas are actually of two very different shapes, okay? So we play off of this um, to create this illusion. So we start with one road, and we create a couple copies. Okay, so now we have three anti-metamers. Okay, these three roads look um, different from one another, but they're in fact very much the same. Um, so this has been done before, um, the Leaning Tower illusion, and, and with these actual very same roads. So how do we change it up? Well, we rotated the middle road, and once we get it to where it looks like it shares that common vanishing point with the leftmost road, we have our metamers. These two pictures are different, but they're perceived to be very much the same. And we retain a set of anti-metamers, two pictures that are identical but look very different from one another. So by using this combinatory approach, we can have all kinds of fun with different shapes uh, and objects. Okay, so now um, this is four pieces of paper on a board, right? Um, and they appear to all be different, or at least to most people, at least the bottom left um, piece of paper looks different from the other three. Uh, but in fact, these are all four of the same shape, okay? Now what we can do is start with one piece of paper, a picture of one piece of paper on the board. And what we do is we take the shape of that piece of paper and move it around in the picture, not in real life. So if we move that shape upward in the picture, we, it looks like we have another piece of paper that's bigger. If we move that shape diagonally, it looks like we have another piece of paper that's bigger and, and more slanted. 
If we move it to the left, it looks like another piece of paper that's just more slanted. And so um, we find that this illusion uh, persists even when most depth cues are removed, even though we think that this all has to do with three-dimensional versus two-dimensional perspective, right? Um, so if we remove the depth cues, the illusion still persists. Yes, these are still all the same shape. So now by using these strong illusions and combining the metamers and antimetamers, just like our roads, we can achieve a display like this. Now most people would perceive that top left piece of paper or shape to be different from all of the other three, when in fact it's one of three identical shapes on this board and the bottom left piece of paper was in fact um, very different from the other three, tilted in the uh, complete opposite direction in fact. So when we achieve a display like this, uh, we call it false pop out. This is where we're able to get different items to blend in and non-different items to pop out as being unique. Um, and that's the end of the road, ladies and gentlemen. Please take the time to enjoy the illusion one more time.